Ever wondered which ancient kingdom held the reins of power over the Red Sea trading routes? It's none other than the Exumate Kingdom. This mighty empire, nestled in the highlands of modern-day Ethiopia, once dominated the crucial trade routes between Africa, Arabia, and the Greco-Roman world. Axum wasn't always a powerhouse, its humble beginnings trace back to a small trading post. But as it grew, its influence spread, transforming it into a bustling hub of economic activity. Axum's strategic location near the Red Sea made it a linchpin in the trade of spices, precious metals, ivory, and exotic animals. This trade wealth, coupled with a vibrant culture, catapulted Axum into the ranks of the world's greatest civilizations. Axum's story didn't stop there. With its newfound wealth and power, Axum embarked on ambitious projects, leaving behind a rich cultural heritage that still echoes in Ethiopia today. The Axumite Kingdom, a beacon of prosperity and power was just getting started. In the heart of Axum stand towering obelisks. But how did these colossal structures come to be? Journey with me back in time to the 4th century AD, when Axum was a thriving metropolis. It was during this period that these monolithic marvels were born. Crafted from single, massive pieces of granite, the obelisks are a testament to the exceptional skill of the Aksumaite stonemasons. But the construction of these behemoths wasn't an easy task. Each obelisk had to be quarried, transported, and erected, a process that demanded remarkable engineering feats. The stonemasons would have had to first identify suitable granite blocks and then meticulously carve them into their desired shapes. The sheer size of these structures, some reaching over 70 feet in height, makes this task a marvel in itself. Once the obelisks were shaped, they had to be transported to their final locations. This would have been a Herculean task, requiring the strength of hundreds if not thousands of men. The exact methods used remain a mystery to this day. But it's believed that the Exumais may have used a system of ropes, ramps, and levers to move these enormous stones. Erecting the obelisks would have been the final stage of this monumental process. Again, we can only speculate about the techniques employed. Some theories suggest that the obelisks were raised using a large pit filled with sand. The obelisk would have been placed in an upright position in the pit, and then the sand would have been gradually removed, allowing the obelisk to slowly descend into its final position. However, the obelisks of Axum are not just impressive for their size and the engineering skills required for their construction. They are also adorned with intricate carvings and symbols which provide us with a fascinating glimpse into the Axumite culture and society. These obelisks remain a testament to the Axumite's architectural prowess, but they are much more than just stone pillars. They are a window into a bygone era, a symbol of a once great civilization, and a mystery that continues to intrigue us to this day. Each obelisk is intricately carved, but what do these symbols represent? Theories abound about the meaning of the carvings etched on the towering obelisks of Axum. Some scholars suggest the symbols are religious in nature, possibly representing the Axumites' early polytheistic beliefs or later shift to Christianity. The intricate carvings of doors and windows might symbolize a spiritual gateway, leading the departed into the afterlife. Others propose a more commemorative interpretation. The obelisks could be grand memorials, immortalizing the victories and achievements of their powerful kingdom. They could also serve as monumental tombstones, marking the resting places of Aksumite royalty. Yet, the symbols could have had other meanings entirely, lost now in the sands of time. Despite the uncertainties, one fact remains clear. The obelisks, etched with the stories of a bygone era, stood tall as the Aksumite kingdom began to decline. As the Aksumite kingdom started to crumble, what happened to these magnificent obelisks? As the 4th century rolled into the 7th, Axum, once a bustling hub of trade and culture, began to wane. Several factors contributed to its decline, including over-farming, political instability, and changing trade routes that bypassed the kingdom. As Axum's power dwindled, so did its ability to maintain and protect its iconic obelisks. However, despite the kingdom's fall, these monolithic marvels remained resilient. They stood tall against the test of time, weathering centuries of natural elements and human interaction. Some theories suggest that the obelisks' preservation was due to their religious significance. 
they were perhaps considered sacred, leading to their protection even during the kingdom's darkest times. Other theories proposed that their sheer size and weight made them difficult to destroy or move. The kingdom fell, but the obelisks stood firm, enduring through centuries as silent witnesses to Axum's glorious past. Today the obelisks of Axum, now UNESCO World Heritage Sites, continue to captivate us, but why? Well, these towering structures are not just remnants of an ancient civilization, they are living testaments to Ethiopia's enduring legacy and cultural identity. The obelisks stand proudly in the heart of modern-day Axum, a city that has grown around its ancient roots. The archaeological site, recognized by UNESCO for its outstanding universal value, is a living museum breathing life into the stories of the Axumite kingdom. Preservation efforts are constantly underway to protect these obelisks from the wear and tear of time. Archaeologists, historians, and conservationists work in unison to safeguard these structures, ensuring they continue to tell their tale to future generations. But the obelisks are more than just monuments of the past. They are symbols of national pride. They embody the resilience and richness of the Ethiopian heritage, serving as a reminder of the country's glorious past and its potential for the future. These obelisks also form a tangible link between the Aksumite Kingdom and modern Ethiopia. They inspire the nation, shaping its cultural fabric and fueling its desire to preserve its historical treasures. The people of Ethiopia, particularly those in Aksum, have a profound connection with these obelisks. They are not just silent stone structures. They are an integral part of their community, their identity. In the midst of modernization, Aksum continues to hold its ancient treasures close. The city, while embracing the new, is careful not to let go of its past. It balances the old with the new, weaving a rich tapestry of history and progress. The obelisks of Axum, while a window into the past, also hold a mirror to Ethiopia's present and future. They speak of a civilization that was, a nation that is, and a culture that will continue to thrive. They remind us that while civilizations rise and fall, their legacy endures, shaping the identity of nations and the course of history. How do we ensure that these ancient marvels continue to tell their stories to future generations? This question forms the crux of our journey today as we dive into the ongoing efforts to preserve the towering obelisks of Axum. Preserving these stone giants is no small feat. Faced with the ravages of time, weather, and human interference, archaeologists and historians are in a race against time. They employ cutting-edge technology and traditional techniques to protect restore and study these monuments. Every stone is meticulously documented, every symbol painstakingly deciphered, and every discovery carefully cataloged. And it's not just about preserving the physical structures, it's about safeguarding the stories they hold, the history they represent, and the legacy they carry. This is where ongoing research and excavation work becomes crucial. They help us peel back the layers of time and reveal the secrets of the Aksumite Kingdom. But the work is fraught with challenges. The sheer size and age of these obelisks present significant logistical issues. There's the delicate balance between preservation and exploration. How do we study these structures without causing further damage? There's the question of resources. How do we allocate enough funding and manpower to this monumental task? Despite these hurdles, the importance of these efforts cannot be overstated. Understanding the Axumite Kingdom, its rise, its fall, and its enduring legacy hinges on the preservation of these obelisks. They are the silent witnesses to a time long past, the stone sentinels guarding the secrets of a powerful kingdom. Every bit of information we glean from these obelisks, every symbol we decode, every mystery we unravel, brings us one step closer to understanding our shared past. And in this shared past, we find shared stories, shared triumphs, shared losses, and shared lessons. These are the threads that weave the tapestry of human history. As we continue to uncover the secrets of Axum, we are reminded of the enduring power of human ingenuity and the stories etched in stone that connect us with our past. So, let's continue this journey together, unearthing, preserving, and celebrating the stories that make us who we are.